name is Sally and I'm a doctoral trainee at UCBD and today I'm going to be teaching you one of my very favorite skills from a therapy called dialectical behavior therapy. This skill is called self-soothing and it's something I use with so many of my clients and what I actually ask them to do is create their very own self-soothing box filled with things that they find comforting, relaxing, or that otherwise help them kind of calm back down or come back into the present moment when they're feeling really stressed out. So I actually have my own and I'm going to walk you through what I've put in here. So with self-soothing, the idea is to gather as many items as you can that really elicit um, your attention from your different senses. So that includes sight, smell, taste, touch, sound, um, and anything else that you want to add in there that kind of helps calm you down. When you're stressed out so for mine i love smell so i have a lot of things that smell really good um special candle i have these wax melts that were on sale but they smell like fresh laundry that's always really soothing for me um for touch another one of my favorites i have like these really soft socks that i got for a gift um, since I'm like an adult child, I have like putty and Play-Doh and also this modeling clay that I got for a couple of dollars. Um, I also have face masks and here's a little like samples that I picked up along the way. Um, handful of face masks that can be really nice as well. They can also smell good. For taste, I have lemon drops because these remind me of my grandfather because he always had lemon drops and so when I was little whenever we went to visit him um, we got to eat his lemon drops and so it's something that elicits a good memory for me which is really helpful during times of stress. Um, I always tell clients that I don't put chocolate in my self-soothing box personally because I will find an excuse knowing myself i will find an excuse every single day to dip into that chocolate stash um so i choose something that doesn't tempt me every single day um i've also got some perfume i've got this rock for touch as well um i also have for sight obviously all of the objects in here for me elicit um, sight in some way, but ideas of, of drawing my attention there. So photographs of family, um, pictures of beautiful places, places you want to go, places you've been, kind of again eliciting some good memories. Um, and then sound can be a little bit trickier, but if there's anything for you that really like suits you, so for me that's having apps on my phone of like nature sounds, um, it could be like a crackling fire, a video of that. Some people buy those candles that make that crackling sound or anything else like bubble wrap, anything that kind of has a sound to it that you find either relaxing or it's a way of drawing your attention away from whatever is distressing you in the moment. Um, and then I've also included some other things for myself. So like playing cards, um, a good way to feel a bit better, distract myself. And then I actually have a book in here too. So if you have, um, a book that's good for you, I would say go ahead and stash it in here. And another thing that I have in here that I would encourage you to do is I have a letter um, from a friend that actually is something they gave me a while ago and it's just really nice to read over, especially when I'm not feeling too great. Um, so I would encourage you if you have a letter, something like that, put it in here. And if you don't, feel free to write your own for yourself. Um, Give yourself some kind of encouraging words or ask a friend or therapist or somebody to write one for you so that you have something to read when you're feeling a bit down. Um, and yeah, that is my self-soothing box. The reason I put it all together in one location is that it's really easy to get to in the times when I really need it. And it's kind of my own gift to myself. Um, I hope you have enjoyed and felt inspired to make your own self-soothing box from this video. Thanks for watching.